Here we go, three, two, one. Yes, boys, look at, oh, look at that. Hello everyone, how are we doing? And welcome back to one of the most exciting videos I think I've made in this studio. Like genuinely, I've had a package arrive and I cannot wait to show you what's in it and get it installed, but it's not what you think. But first, a quick word from this video's sponsor, Asus and their awesome Tough A15. This do-it-all gaming laptop is not only capable of playing the latest games at sky-high frame rates, but it does so without breaking the bank. Bask in the light of its super-fast 144Hz display, get to the top of the leaderboard with NVIDIA's GTX and RTX graphics cards, and then play comfortably with Tuft's excellent keyboard and cooling solutions. Check it out today with the links down below. First things first though, this is my setup as it is at the moment. Not too much has changed since the last time you've seen it. I'm about to actually take this whole computer apart and do a case swap and start doing some water cooling. You can see that I've actually already made a start on my build. This is the P600S. I really love this because you have this little panel that comes off so it can be silent or sort of like full airflow depending on what it is you like. Supports a load of hardware but you may recall I actually did a full liquid loop in this. The gigabyte board that I had in here before was for a 10900K, but as I'm not going to be using that for my personal system, I wanna rotate it through different builds for you guys. It makes sense to essentially take this sort of Hydro X system apart, keep the radiators and basic piping in place. That's not the only upgrade that we're making to this system though, as Intel have been absolute babes and have sent out something very, very special. It is inside this drawer. It is a 18 core chip and this is going inside my system. Main problem really with it is that it generates quite a lot of heat, but obviously in a fully custom water-cooled system, that shouldn't be a problem. But coming over to this side of the room, nice and organized, it's actually quite tidy at the moment, even the floor is looking quite good, but we're gonna swap out this desk in a future video, but I've just put up a little bit more of my organization tools if you like. I've got some water cooling fluids and things up here. This is like my water cooling sort of, I don't know, area shall we say up here. But then trying to keep everything nice and tidy. We've got all of these things labeled, looking good. But the big, big upgrade is in this room. No one else in the world has what's in this box because it is completely custom to me. So in here, I have already opened this one up once to test everything works. We have our custom neon sign for the wall. So this one says PC. And then the big thing at the bottom, you probably guessed at this stage what it says, is our Centric. There we go, look at that. So this is from a company called Neon Poodle. I'll leave them links down below. I bought this, they look cool online, and this thing in person, I cannot wait to actually install. To my eye, this looks like it's not actually neon. I mean, I don't think you'd want that in your room. It generates a ridiculous amount of heat, but actually some LED strips that's sort of housed inside this diffused coating or diffused sort of tubing that goes all the way along that they've bent into place. You wouldn't normally have this sort of interconnect, but you needed it just because this was so big. This is about 1.7 meters across. And if you haven't already guessed, it's going to go on this bit of the wall here. Probably a little bit overkill for a normal gaming setup, but for a PC centric studio, not too shabby. So this is probably gonna be a little bit easier if we move this monitor out of the way first. It is big and huge. And then I guess we sort of need to work out exactly where this is gonna go. If I mount this side first, should be a little bit safer. So that's one. Okay, that's starting to look pretty tasty to me. I would turn it on, but we're, we're, we'll wait. We'll wait for the big crescendo. Final screw then. Oh yes, oh yes. I mean, just look at this. I cannot wait to get this thing turned on. It is insane. You can mount it very, very easily. It's just a couple of screws. It does come with some in the box. You don't have to have it on full blast all the time. It does come with this little dimmer that does on, off, or anything in between. Otherwise, it's just a basic plug, which is why I've picked up from Amazon a Philips Hue smart plug. This was not too expensive, and it will mean that all of these lights will come on with every other bulb that I have in the studio, which is quite a lot. So here we are then. I genuinely have not seen this yet. It's moment of truth time. Does this look good or is it just way too bright and will it ruin the room? Here we go, three, two, one. Yes, boys, look at, oh, look at that. Okay, that's cool. 
That is so cool. I, you, it's not RGB, you did get a few different uh, choices of color and stuff. This is sort of like what they call their purple. But look at that. I know we've been building this gaming setup for quite a long time on this channel, but that really does set it apart from every other upgrade I've made to date. Like, obviously I thought it was gonna look cool, but I had no idea that it actually would look as good as it does. That is gonna look so good in the background of videos, and even just when I'm sitting down and working at my desk, I can have this on quite a low level of dimness, and that is gonna look incredible. What a gaming battle station. And here we are then, the PC-centric studio, ready for builds, reviews, setups, unboxings, all of those good things. I think you'll agree, it's looking pretty naughty, uh, but let's see how often I leave it on when I'm sitting in here editing. I'll be, I don't know, I will genuinely be interested to know whether it's too much. Is too much RGB a thing? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's do a quick unboxing though, because I've actually been sent this from Corsair. It's their brand new IQ Nexus. That's right, two cameras is back, baby, because it's cooled down a bit. You get a load of useful information about your PC situated either on or near your keyboard. So it's if you're interested in getting a Stream Deck, but you more want to see statistics and things rather than being able to stream or do any of those things. But the two are quite closely related. Let's focus on what we actually have here. We've got instruction manuals and things. But then, of course, the thing we're actually interested in is this little bar itself. So it's mostly bezel. I mean, that is a little bit of a downside, I think, but obviously they're trying to keep costs down and make something that actually will fit. It is a touch screen, and all of your information is gonna come up live here. So inside the box, you've got your little standalone base, and this is if you're using a keyboard that doesn't have USB pass-through, or you don't want it on your keyboard, you can position this anywhere else and use it almost like a Stream Deck. That's what I'll be doing in just a second, but this will slot inside, connect to the USB, and then this will connect to your computer. You do get these three little brackets inside the box, though, and this is going to to be useful if you're actually going to want to put this on your keyboard. So here is our little Nexus then. It really is a very small screen. That is not winning any smartphone awards for highest resolution system in the world. But the point is this is going to be far enough away that it doesn't matter and you're only using it to sort of view statistics and things. I'm sure there will be a version 2 that does get rid of some of the bezels and make it slightly high resolution. But so let's start by getting rid of all of this crap. Sorry Corsair, but let's just be real for a second. And we can add different widgets. So we've got buttons or widget. Okay, so let's go for a widget first. We can have different temperatures of our RAM, awesome. <laughs> um, or we can actually go for system info, which is probably what you want. Let's go for CPU package temperature. Let's put utilization on there as well. Graphics card temperatures. It's a very easy device to use. You just swipe through the different screens. You can add essentially as many as you realistically would want. And if you have Corsair devices, you'll get these different modes that will come up for those devices, which is pretty neat. You can delete them. If there's a device that you don't wanna change on the fly, you can make it a little bit quicker. You can remove that. But here's quite a good example of something you might want to do. ST100 headphone stand has a DAC in it. If you're listening to music, you'd wanna put in stereo mode. So you tap that button. We change the stereo, and then obviously when you're gaming, you'll then change back to surround sounds. But it is quite a lot of money, I think, for the functionality. It's realistic pricing, but there are probably other things that you can spend the money on first. But the question really does go out to you guys on this one. Would you pick up a Nexus? Have you already done so? I'd be really interested to hear from me on this. And if you have got one, have you got it on your keyboard or are you using the stand? If you're interested in current pricing on this, by the way, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link listed down below. We can check out this and all of the stuff in my setup, as well as that Neon Poodle link located down below. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Asus and the crazy tough A15 gaming laptop. If you wanna get PC gaming and a fully portable package, then look no further. Get to the top of the leaderboard with Nvidia's GTX and RTX graphics cards, and then super fast memory and storage. All of this in this gorgeous teal blue package. Get yours today with the link down below. Do let me know your thoughts then. The studio is coming along nicely. We're really getting close to the finishing line. Let me know if you wanna see like a full studio tour of everything we've got so far. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff we haven't covered. But thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. But of course, don't forget to get subscribed. There's plenty more videos to come and you wouldn't wanna miss them. See you later.